Alrighty guys, welcome to a brand new video. So one of you sent me a message on, on YouTube a couple days ago and you said, um, Hey Marshall, can you make a video on how you recognize good players? I often notice when you say, oh, he's good, or they know what's going on. How do you personally detect this in UFC 4? That's a really, really good question. It's a question I really haven't gotten before. Um, so I'm, I'm going to see if I can explain to you guys how I know when someone is a good player. I'm going to go in in quick, not quick match. Well, after I'm done explaining, I'm going to go in quick match and see if I can demonstrate it, um, demonstrate it live. We're going to see if we can guess if the player that we run into is uh, is a good player. So first things first, I'm going to go practice mode and just show you guys um, a few things that I look for um, to know when I've run into a good player or not. Now, I will say, um, generally, if I am playing ranked, I just automatically assume that everyone I run into is a good player, um, just because generally they are. Um, but if I am doing quick match mostly, that's generally when I, uh, it's when I'm doing quick match that I have to kind of uh, guess, you know what I mean? It's like when the, when the player first shows up, I have to like figure out is this guy good is this guy not good or I have to try to do it right away because I really don't want to waste I really don't want to waste my time um so uh what are we doing here I'm trying to inert free com free combinations I'm going to turn that on ground position off uh single caller all right let's start things off on the feet all right so when I first step into a, a, a fight, there are two things I you, you guys got to keep in mind with this game. Um, you can find out if a player is good based on what they do initially. And then if you're not sure as you progress into, a, into the fight, there are a few things that they can do as you progress into the fight that will tell you if they're good or not. So initially, when you first start a fight, the first thing that you're going to notice if the player is good is how they manage their distance. This is the first thing that happens. Because you guys are here. Your opponent is all the way over there. You're all the way over here. The referee says go and you have to approach each other. The way a good player approaches you will tell you right away if he's good or if he's bad. That's one. Second thing is shot selection. What is the first type of strike your opponent throws? How is he throwing it? That's going to tell you this guy is good or this guy is bad. And then the third thing, and I'm talking initially, like in the first few seconds, you'll be able to find this out. The third thing is awareness. How aware are they of what could possibly happen based on what they're doing? So let's start with the first one. First one, distance management. If the referee says fight and your opponent does some shit like this, most likely they suck. Because a good player knows that this is useless. A good player knows they're not in distance to throw the roundhouse. So how is a good player most likely going to approach it? Well, if the referee says go... You're probably going to see something like this. He's going to move around. See, it right here, I'm not literally approaching. I'm moving around. I'm going to fake. I'm going to fake. I'm going to back up. I'm going to fake. I'm going to back up. Then I'm going to strike. Then I'm going to move. This, you see someone doing this right away? Most likely, they know what they're doing. You know, like, like this. These movements I'm making. This is me managing distance. I'm not just right away doing this shit. Or right away, uh, the moment the fight starts off and you see them do that, uh, or uh, they, they're not good. They're most likely not good. Um, another thing with, uh, with distance management is when they start doing something like this, from all the way afar, you see this. Probably not good. Because no good player is going to start here throwing four moving jabs. No good player is going to start here throwing jab, 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 jab. No, you're not going to do that. If a, if, a, if a good player wants to throw forward moving jabs, he's most likely going to enter the pocket with something. Then he's going to go jab, jab, like that. You see that? I'm going to get in range, jab, jab. Boom, jab, jab. Get into range and then throw. Jab, jab, just like that. Um, so that's it for distance management. Are they throwing their strikes from the right distance? This is something you're going to notice right off the bat. And I'm going to try to demonstrate that to you guys once we get into a quick match. Second thing you're going to notice is their shot selection. 
what is the sort of strike they're throwing as the fight starts off? Most good players in this game are going to start off with feeler shots. They're going to start off with feints. The moment the ref says go, you're going to see feints. Fake here, fake here, fake here. Some of them would do something like this. It's just a feeler, just to get an idea of what you're going to do. Rarely are you going to see a good player, the moment the fight starts, he's looking to do this shit. He's looking to just start like winging shots. Rarely are you going to see that. Um, another thing is the sort of strike that they lead with. Again, we've talked we've talked about the uh, the roundhouse to the head. It's the number one tell a player is bad. If the fight starts off and the first thing he does is that, most likely he's not good. Or the first thing he does is that, most likely he's not good. Another thing, even if the fight starts off and the first thing you see the player do is do that try to wing a, a, a leg kick from afar most likely that player is not good look for the shot selection if i'm starting a fight i'm stepping in i'm gonna hit a jab and back up a little bit i get to the right distance boom hit to the body cross to the body front kick teep then i'm gonna wait for him to see what he does i'm gonna hit him with a leg kick I'm gonna throw a front kick. You see the way I'm, I'm, I'm playing? I'm using my fakes. Boom, boom, if I'm close, fake. Leg kick, leg kick. These are the kind of short shot selections you're going to see from a player that's good. The sort of combos he's going to throw as well. Like he's not going to start throwing, he's not gonna start doing like shit like this. This shit right here. You start doing this right off the bat, I know you're not good. You start doing this right off the bat, I know you're not good. I know you suck. You start doing this right off the bat, I know you're not good. I know you're not good. And this is going to get us into the third, um, the third point of, I'm talking initially, first few seconds, is awareness of what could happen. Why do I say awareness? The reason why a good player is not going to start off a fight with this is because he's aware of what could possibly happen if he does it. He's aware that if he freaking whiffs this, he's going to be wide open to get countered. He's aware that if he starts a match like this, he's going to get uppercutted and probably get freaking KO'd. He's aware that if he starts a match like this and he starts doing this over and over again, that his opponent could slip straight him and sit him down. He's, a, he's aware that if he starts doing this shit, his opponent can pull counter, duck counter, and rock him. When the player starts off showing that he has some awareness, you know, he starts a roundhouse or a kick, and he pulls it just like that. He pulls it because he notices you're out of distance. That's a player that's aware. It's a player that's aware of the risks, the potential risks in the game. That's a good player. That's a player with experience. Now, I'm not saying it's a great player or it's an elite player, but at the very least, it's a player that knows what he's doing. It's a player that's not completely naive. So that's the first three things you notice initially. Number one, how is he managing distance? Number two, the shot selection. Is he winging roundhouse kicks from a mile away? Or is he picking his shots at first? And then his awareness of what could happen. His actions will lead you to, to decide whether he's aware or not. If he's being reckless right off the bat, he has no awareness, he's naive. If he's careful right off the bat, that's a player that's aware of what could happen. He's careful. Now, as you progress into a fight, as you progress, let's say you're not sure. You know, you can't really quite tell initially as you progress. Well, a couple of things that will tell you that the person you're facing is good. And generally, you can tell in the first round. Like, if it takes you more than one round to decide if the player you're fighting is good, then, like, you yourself, like, you need a lot of work. It really shouldn't take you too long to know if the fighter is good, or if the player is good or not. Um, but let's just say you can't tell from the first, uh, first few seconds or the first minute that the guy you're facing is good. Then look for if he's fainting or not. And by fakes, I mean these right here. Fakes are basically you pulling your shots. When you go to throw a jab, you block. 
fakes you give your opponent looks. Fakes allow you to set other shots up. You know, when you're faking, it's going to give you the opportunity to land whatever shots you want to land. You know, a, a very good fake here. See that? Fake and follow up. Fake and follow up. These types of fakes are going to confuse the opponent. And he's not going to know what the actual follow-up shot is. And a very good reason also why you fake is because a lot of times players end up just watching. You know, they watch, they, they sit there frozen like they've stared at Medusa while you're faking, faking, faking. And they're not paying attention and you hit them. You land the main shot that you want to land. A fake is how a good player hides his intention. So if you don't, if you're not sure, you can't tell, is he faking most likely he's a good player, especially if he's actually doing fakes that make sense, you know, fakes that actually leads him to other shit. You know, like if I fake a jab and throw a cross, that's a reasonable fake, you know what I mean? If I fake a, fake a left hook, left hook, follow up with an uppercut, that's a fake that makes sense. Fake a shot to the body, fake again, fake again, and hit you with an uppercut, it's a fake that makes sense. Fake a left le leg kick, follow up with a teep, a fake that makes sense. You know, if they're throwing fakes that, like, make no sense, you know, just, like, just shit that, that just doesn't make any sense whatsoever, then maybe they're not good, but at least they're faking. If they're faking, there's a very good chance they're good. Next up is what combination are they throwing? Um, better players in this game throw intricate combinations because intricate combinations are very difficult to throw. If you're fighting someone and you're most likely and you're mostly seeing jab, 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 and you're seeing this shit right here, jab straight, jab straight, jab straight, wah, 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 you're seeing this crap right here, then they're not very good. You know, a good player is throwing intricate combinations. You know, something like this. One, two, three, four, you know? One, two, three. They're throwing intricate combinations at you. You know? One, two, like that. They're throwing combos at you that, um, and occasionally they'll mix it up. You know, they'll go like that, they'll go 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 the classic, I'm a good player combo, which is this one, like that. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's, there's this one, you know, there's, um, this. I don't even really throw a lot of these combos. You know, it's just some intricate combos that will tell you that the player knows what he's doing, you know. If it's if it's too simple, you know, and I'm not saying that yeah, simplicity, that a good player cannot be simple. It's if it's too repetitive, that's the word I'm looking for. If it's too repetitive, you know, they're throwing jab, straight, jab, straight. That's too goddamn repetitive. You want to look for a jab, right hook, uppercut. One, two, three. You want to look for different strikes. They're mixing different strikes together. If they're constantly throwing the same type of strike over and over again, that right away should tell you, all right, this player does not know what the hell he's doing because he's not aware. He's unaware that if he's throwing a hook, 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 I can easily pull one of them and rock him. That's the reason why you will see players attempting to throw more intricate combos, more combinations that change because they're... They know that you're gonna wanna move your head, and when they're throwing these combinations that change, they know they're gonna be able to catch you as you're trying to move your head in different directions. Um, next up is defense. If you're facing somebody, um, you know, deep into the fight or whatever, and you're not sure, look at their defense. Are they moving their head? You know, are they slipping? Are they blocking? What type of head movement are you seeing? Are you like, are you seeing a bunch of like weird bobbing and weaving? Most likely that's a bum that's trying to copy what he saw a high level player doing. You know, someone like that, you could probably just blast him to the body. Is he constantly being repetitive and, and very predictable with his head movement? You know, another one too is are you seeing some shit like this? Are you seeing shit like this? You know, if a player starts off the match doing this, doing this shit right here. Most likely he sucks because like no good player is doing this. 
you know, and this is one of the first the, the first things you see like players that are not good doing. You know, they're like they're constantly doing this. They're moving around. Their stamina is like going and dying, and they're doing this shit. Like, bro, like what is this? What the hell is this? You know, that's that's bad defense. They're not good. A good player moves in one. He moves his head like that. He fakes head movement. He throws. He fakes and moves his head. Boom. Just like that. That's how you know, all right, this player is good. When you start throwing combos at him, he's patient. He's calm. He's not spazzing. Ah! He's not doing that shit. He's not like lunging all over the place like that. He's not doing that. You throw a shot at him. He blocks, 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 and then throws at the right time and moves his head. You know, a good player will throw and exit. One, two, exit. That's good. You know? Jab, exit. See the, the movement pattern? Boom. One, two. That movement, when, 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 it, when, it's, when it's smooth like that and, and clean and there's some thought going into what's happening, most likely the player is good, is good at what he's doing. And then the last and not the least, and I'm going to leave it at that, is, is the player making reads. If you're doing the same thing over and over again, if you've landed your 10th leg kick, if you've landed your 14th body kick, most, it's mostly with the leg kicks, honestly. It's mostly with the leg kicks, especially if you're the type that likes to like, you know, lead with jabs and you're jabbing the opponent. I do this all the time. I will test my opponent's defense with how often I jab them. A jab, a jab, do a jab straight, jab straight. If I'm not seeing you trying to slip, slip straight, Duck straight, you know, slip in this direction, slip uppercut, maybe slip and go uppercut to the body. If I'm not seeing any of this, I already know that you're not good. You're not moving your head. You're making it so easy for me to just jab you. If I've kicked you 10 times already in the leg and you're not blocking the leg kick, you're not moving and going this way, you know, you're not, I'm not seeing your hand drop like this because you're aware the leg kick is probably coming. If you're not doing any of this, I know you're not good. It tells me you're not making reads. It tells me you're just paying attention to what you're doing. You're not paying attention to me. And if I know you're not paying attention to me, that's bad, man. That is bad because you have to not only care about what you're doing, you have to also pay attention to your opponent. That way, you'll be able to make reads. And when you make reads, you'll be able to counter them. So just to recap, initially, pay attention to your distance management their shot selection, and awareness of what could happen. If you don't see any of that, they're not good. And then deeper into the fight, look for the feints. Are they faking? If they're not faking, they're not good. Look at their combos. If you're throwing repetitive combinations over and over again, the player is not good. If their defense is nonsense, rubbish, makes no sense, they're constantly doing this shit right here, they're not good. They're a bad player. And... If you're constantly getting away with doing the same shit and the player is not making read, they're not countering, they're not slipping, they're not blocking properly, then the player is not making read, player's not making reads, and they're not good. So those, these are things for you to uh, try to keep in mind. Um, I've been recording for about 18 minutes right now. I'm going to see if I can demonstrate exactly what I mean. I'm going to go to quick match. I'm going to try to get a match in. And uh, see if you guys can play along. All right, see if you can play along. I'm just gonna just gonna do like a random quick match. We'll run into the first guy. Uh, let me see. This sets every single weight. Well, besides the women's weight classes, and probably yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Yep. Let's look. We'll try to get a fight in. And like I said, I want you guys to play along with me. Whatever player we run into, try to see if you can tell if the player is good. So right away, I'm going to I'm going to guess right off the bat right now that the guy I'm about to face is good. Why am I saying the guy I'm about to face is good? Because he immediately went to Michael Chandler, which tells me he already knows, he already already knows what fighter he wants to use. That's one more sign if they know what fighter they want to use they're not like sitting there 
going, you know, looking for a fighter. They already know who they want to use. And then, of course, if they have, like, decent points. This man is at 78. And so my guess right off the bat is that he's good. That's just me guessing. So now we're going to see. All right. First of all, let's look at his distance management. There you go. What do you guys notice? What do you notice? Shot selection is next. Look at his shot selection. You see that? Next up, awareness of what could happen. Yep, awareness of what could happen. He's not just wading in and being ridiculously aggressive. That means the man is aware. He's good. He's good. Again, when I say the player is good, I'm not talking about that the player is, you know, elite level. Like, I know I'm going to beat this guy. You know, I'm not saying he's elite level. I'm just saying the player knows what the hell is going on. Rocked. You know, like, I know I'm going to beat him, but he at least is not a bum. Next up, his fakes. We're going to pay attention to fakes now. Let's see if he's fainting. All right. All right. All right. So we've not seen fakes yet. Next up, we're looking for combos. What kind of combos is he throwing? Is he being too repetitive with the combos he's throwing? No, he's not. All right. And then we look at his defense. Head movement good. Head movement pretty good. And then is he making reads? So let's see if, if we can get him to... Let's test his reads. I'm going to throw a bunch of leg kicks at him. Let's see if he starts blocking leg kicks. All right. Uh-oh. He's landing good shots now. There's the fake. I saw a fake. There you go. You guys see that? I already I threw two leg kicks at him, but he's already paying attention to him. And now he's throwing his own back. Watch him. Watch what he's doing with his block. Let's see if he... Land one. Land again. Okay, okay. Leg is hurt. He fires off. He switches a stance. That gives you awareness. Rock again. Sit him down. Probably going to stop him right here, most likely. All right. He survives. And I didn't talk about grappling at all, just because, like, I know most of you are... When you ask a question like this, I know you're more interested in, in striking. So I didn't even talk about grappling. But of course, that's that's a very it's a it's something that you pay attention to. But I would say, like, if I was to I, I, I like thinking about players in terms of belt levels in jujitsu. Um, I would say this dude feels to me like a like a purple belt in jujitsu. And a purple belt in jujitsu is is a very it's a very, very, very high level belt. You know, it's like I'm just like I will look at, I will consider myself a black belt. But, you know, in this game, you know, you've got black belts. You've got like first degree, third degree black belts. You've got coral belts. You've got people that have been playing for a long time. I would say that I'm like I'm, I'm a black belt in the game. So like I there are a few things I see which allows me to, you know, kind of run through him like I did. But I would say he's a purple belt. A hundred percent. 100%. He knows what he's doing. Um, he's headed in the right direction. I'll just put it that way. Like, he's headed in the right direction. Um, his distance management was good. His shot selection was good. He was aware of the dangers, and he was he was making some, some, uh, some good moves. Um, he used fakes not enough. You know, he should have fainted more. Um, his distance management should have been a little bit tighter. Um, his combos should have been a bit shorter and in some cases a bit longer. These are small things that you start to realize when you get to black belt level. I'll just put it that way. 
And then his defense as well. His defense should have been a little bit more tight. And then his ability to make reads. Um, if he tightens all these up, you know, that's a player that's, that's headed places. So, uh, looks like he wants, uh, he wants a rematch. I mean, should we give him a rematch? Let's, uh, let's give him one more fight. Let's give him one more fight just so you guys, so you guys can, uh, try to, uh, try to see what I'm saying and try to look at it again. Try to, try to, um, try to look at his style and see if you can pinpoint everything that I've been saying. All right. So he goes Michael Chandler again. Um, this time, this time let's. Let's do something more interesting. I'm going to go Eddie Alvarez versus his Michael Chandler. Dos Anjos. All right. We'll keep it with Eddie Alvarez. Let's see how he uses RDA. Let's see how he uses RDA. Let's see if um if he's able to make if he's able to make better decisions cuz at the end of the day you know, he has all the tools. You know, he's he definitely has the knowledge that will allow him to win fights. He will just have to put things together a bit better. Like I said, um, his combos will need to be to be better in this fight. Um, his defense will have to be better. His di distance management, everything. So we'll start things off real slow. All right. He starts things off with a, with a teep. See, I'm jabbing him. All right, follows up with an, with an uppercut. Leg kick. Nice. That's a fake. There you go. See, right now I'm pushing him. He's going to have to stop me from doing that. Well, we're using fakes to get him to... To try to attack. Careful. I just realized right now I don't even have my HUD on. Nice. Alright, so now I've made the read that um, occasionally he's going to like to, to lead with, with, uh, with a hook to the body. I've made that read. So now we'll see if we can, okay? There it is. See that right there? There's that read. So now we're going to start seeing if we can uh, trap him and set him up to do that. Yeah, he likes just just randomly leading with the hook to the body. He doesn't like uh, throwing a jab before that. So now I'm going to try to identify when he likes to do that instinctually. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set him up. Set him up to want to do it. Leg kick. Okay. Rocked. There you go. Set him down right there. Close. There you go. Close, close. Nice. He plants and rips, so he likes planting and ripping. I don't have a front kick. All right. I've also made the read. That he's starting to pull. All right. There's the head movement I was watching for. Because I've been throwing some jabs at him, and now I'm seeing the head movement. All right. There it is. Okay. So he likes doing it when his block is overcommitted. That's what I've noticed. So we're going to try to overcommit his block. Right there. Let's see if he does it again. There it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's kind of his... Um, it's a... Uh, What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of the, 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 the strike he uses to buy himself some, some time, but it's the wrong approach. It's the wrong strike to try to use to buy time. I don't even know what my stamina is like right now, to be honest with you guys. Catch that. He started the fight off twice with that. 
If he throws that front kick again, we're going to slip it. Because he just flashed it. All right. Leg kick. Beautiful. See the fake? The fake and then combo into the leg kick. All right. Relax. There's the front kick. He's going to do it. Nice. Nice, nice combo, nice combo. Rocked. Set him down. All right, I think this should be it. Let's see, relax. Teep to the body. It's probably gonna go for a teep to the f a front kick next. Front kick coming. Not bad, not bad. I'm thinking he wants to throw a front kick. You see, he keeps throwing. Uh oh, boy. That's not good. He wants to throw a front kick. Now, don't, don't get repetitive now, sir. See if we can end there right there. All right, so that's gonna do it. Like I said, he he feels more like a like a purple belt. If I was to like compare scales, I'd say he's more like a purple belt. But he's not bad, man. He's not bad. He's definitely ranked quality. He, he, I'm pretty sure he wins a lot of matches in quick match, guaranteed. Um, he just needs to. Tighten up every all of those qualities I mentioned. You just tighten all of them up a little bit more. And when you see a player that's better than me, these are players that are that do every single thing that I mentioned even better. You know, their distance management is better than mine. Their shot selection is better. Their awareness of all the dangers are, is actually better. They know more about the game. They know when they're safe. They know when they're not safe. They know what Ladies risks they can take. Like someone like Zayaf. You see Zayaf, for example, win weird exchanges that you don't think he should be winning, but he wins those exchanges because he has a very deep understanding of when he's in danger and when he's not in danger. So he will take weird risks and actually come out on top. Um, they fake better, their combos are better, their defense is better, they make better reads. Um, and so just try to keep that in mind. All right, man, I think we are done. Uh, this man wants to fight again. I, you know, don't really, I can't sit here fighting you all day long, sir. Gave you two solid matches. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and then for you guys, hope this, this, uh, this answers your question very well. This video has been fairly long, but I, I hope, it, uh, hope it gives you the answer that you're looking for. So... If you enjoyed the video, go right ahead and leave a like. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one, boys.